Mercenary Prestige is an individual and alliance event aimed at defeating a specific enemy on a specific difficulty level in the wilderness. Where there are five levels of difficulty, starting from easy, normal, hard, nightmare, and insane. If you have chosen a difficulty level, then you have to complete it first, then in the next season a new difficulty level will open. Completing the Mercenary Prestige as an individual is by defeating every Fathon troop starting from level 1 to level 50. Where first you have to scout their location, and then you have three attack options, namely attacking directly, initiating a rally, or asking for help from members of your alliance who are much stronger than you to crush Fathon's troops. The direct attack and rally options will require the chief's stamina, while the request for help option will not consume your chief's stamina, but this option will definitely take longer than the previous two options, because this option depends entirely on the will of your alliance friends. After you complete several difficulty levels, the Alliance leader can open access to attack the Fathon captain. This feature can only be activated if some or all Alliance members have completed certain difficulty levels. There are five types of Captain Fathon, where level 1 is Dr. Toxin Theodore, level 2 is Zenobia Queen of Violence, level 3 is Helios Cannon, level 4 is Callisto Mark II, and level 5 is Behemoth. Captain Fathon is very strong so it requires the participation of most Alliance members to defeat them. Completing the Mercenary Prestige event will require a lot of chief stamina, gems, time, and strategy. Therefore, I give the first tip, namely, when the new Mercenary Prestige event starts, immediately actively complete the challenges, and use Gina to complete every easy level, apart from levels 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, because Gina has the skill to reduce the amount of chief stamina consumed by 20%, which will be enough to help players overcome the problem of excessive energy consumption. Second tip, if you have reached nightmare or insane difficulty level, I recommend only using the ask for help feature at levels 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, because this is the boss stage. Because besides being able to reduce your stamina consumption, your chances of winning can also be much greater if you are helped by your strongest members. Third tip, if you want to increase your chances of winning in every attack without the help of your alliance, I suggest that you use buff items, such as increasing attack, lethality, and increasing the capacity of the number of troops, by doing this, you have a much greater chance of being able to complete the mercenary prestige much faster, and without having to wait for help. And keep in mind, your mercenary prestige rewards depend on how many levels you have completed during the event. If you complete all 50 levels, you will get the ultimate reward, but the rewards you get are also determined by the difficulty level you chose when starting this event, where the higher the difficulty level, the better the rewards. Mercenary Prestige is a pretty good event for collecting resources, speed up items, gems, and hero shards, and I think the choice of difficulty level makes this event quite friendly for players who have just started playing.
If you've watched this far, make sure you like and subscribe, and also share this video. And we will meet again in the next Whiteout Survival video, bye!